Gonzaga. Gonzaga, Gonzaga, Gonzaga. Horchata, horchata, horchata. Gamecocks. Zaga Gamecocks. Parle, 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 yeah. We're ready. Oh, we're gonna start cover that. Go West! Young man, how long have we been saying that? Since way back in the 1800s, that meant one thing. Opportunity! To get out here, it takes a sense of adventure, it takes some risk, it takes some swagger. I mean, you ever seen a cowboy walk? Look at those shoes. Look at that. That is swagger. But that's what it takes to make it out here. So where have you been, guys? The Final Four. Back out west for the first time in two decades? I mean, it took you long enough. What, did you take a wagon? It used to be the West Coast was the Final Four. Remember the 70s? Chips? That's my dad. Anyway, it seems you finally took the man's advice. Go West, young man. I am so excited. I shaved my head and got this belt buckle. Basketball, belt buckle. Final four is, ah! It's a real cactus, guys. Come on. Tell me if you haven't heard this before, OK? Young hotshot rolls into town. He's the upstart with a funny name everybody's been talking about. For the first time, Gonzaga is headed to the Final Four. Only to meet the new kid. Oh. Yes! No one saw them. Game cocks. Final Four. Here comes a team that's been gone so long, it feels like they disappeared. It's been 78 years since the dust have flown. But there's always a grizzled old guy in these scenarios, the seen-it-all type who can't be rattled. North Carolina will be looking for redemption. Oh, and they have seen it all. Oof. Like everyone who's ever gone west, this is that moment for competition, for glory, for redemption. That's why we're here. I mean, really, that's why everybody goes west. All these young men are here to see fame, to take their little piece of history home. And Williams scores. Oh, oh. Oh. The winners today, they know one final challenge still awaits. Get it. Oh. But then this is the type of country that welcomes the challenge, isn't it? That's why we always say, go west. Go west, young man. That's east, Chris. Sure. Thanks. In the Valley of the Sun, the first time the Final Four has been out west since Seattle in 1995. And here come the South Carolina Gamecocks, their first ever appearance on a Final Four floor. And the Gonzaga Bulldogs out of Spokane, Washington, also a maiden voyage to the promised land of college basketball. They're up first, a pair of first-timers. South Carolina and Gonzaga with national semifinal game number two, Oregon and North Carolina. It's going to be a great day here just outside of Phoenix. Hey, Glendale, and hello, friends. Jim Nance, along with my buddies, Grant, Bill, Tracy, Wolfson. That opening certainly got me a little more fired up, if that's possible. It's great to be in this setting out west and at this very moment. One of my favorite times of the year before it all gets started. And, Jim, what's amazing is that all the teams playing today and all their fans in this building feel like this is their one shining moment. This is their year. Whether it's a kid, a fan, a former player, a former coach, a broadcaster, it just crystallizes our love and affection for this great game. Yeah, there's so much hope in the building right now. Let's break down game one. Let's start with Gonzaga. Now, a couple of their star players. I want to begin with Nigel Williams-Goss. He's a sensational young man. On the court, off the court, he leads this team. He is, without a doubt, the leader of Gonzaga. He must be aggressive and poised, under control to deal with the pressure from the Gamecocks with their defense. And, of course, his counterpart, the man inside, the big fella, the, the Polish hammer, Karnowski. He's so skilled. He's so big. He has to be big literally and figuratively today against the Gamecocks for Gonzaga. Gonzaga won the West. South Carolina won the East at Madison Square Garden. Not a whole lot of folks saw this one coming, but a lot of folks have not seen Cinderius Thornwell, and he is special. Well, you talked about the hammer. Well, this kid can play a lot of positions, and hammer at home as well. Solid off the bounce. I just love that he can guard all four positions other than center, but also fill it up deep. He really understands how to get in the lane. Has a floater, and believe it or not, 
Trent Hill. He can post you up on occasion. <laughs> hey, there's been a lot of concern about if he's 100% or not. And for more on that, let's go over to Tracy. That's right, Jim. Sandarius Thornwell arrived here in Phoenix dealing with flu-like symptoms. He had a headache, chills, a fever. Frank Martin told us they immediately gave him antibiotics. They pumped him with fluids. They got him rest. He didn't practice Friday, but I was just told he is 100% and ready to go, Jim. Okay. Ready to go. Over 70,000 screaming, enthusiastic college basketball fans are too.